Alright, hello YouTube and welcome to my next installation of how to install LCPDFR series. For today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to install vehicles and change a vehicle skin. Now, this may be a little hairy to some of you who have not modded a lot before. It took me quite a while to get used to how to do this. And I am probably the worst teacher that I know. So, if I confuse you, I do apologize. But, um, I've gotten this request so much lately that I just kind of have to wing it. Alright guys, so, in order to download a vehicle, a ped file, um, weapons, or anything like that in Grand Theft Auto 4 for LCPDFR, you have to have a program called Open 4, or you can use a program called Spark 4. Now, I use Open 4 because Spark does not work on my system. So, if you have Spark, that's completely fine, but for today's episode, you know, I'm going to show you all how to use Open. If you don't have Open, I will include a link uh, in the description box where you can download Open. It's fairly simple, self-explanatory. I should not have to show you how to do that. So just go through and uh, go ahead and download Open. Now, once you download Open, it may ask you to select a destination file. If it does, all you simply have to do is select your Grand Theft Auto folder. That's it. You don't have to select any subfolder, just Grand Theft Auto folder. That's it. All right, now once you have done that, we'll go ahead and... Get it started. Make sure you click on Grand Theft Auto 4. Shouldn't really have to explain that, but, you know, I will anyway. And this little guy should pop up. This is where you will go when you first start modding, you know, vehicles and skins and shit. So, uh, for right now, let's just go ahead and minimize that. We don't even have our vehicle or skin yet. Head on over to lcpdfr.com or wherever your heart desires and download your vehicle models and textures. Now, I'm a little weird... I like to download textures first because when you have cool guys like Code 103 who actually put what freaking models they used, it makes your life 30 times easier. Now, we are going to do, just for the sake of today, we're going to make this easy. We're going to go ahead and download this one, the 2013 Dodge Dart made by Robert B. So, uh, as I said, Code 103 actually puts the links to what vehicles he skinned so you don't have to look all over the freaking internet to find what vehicle his skins fit. So, we went ahead and downloaded the Dodge Dart. So, uh, you know, click on the link and hit this little green download button here. Once you do that, the zip file will pop up. Now, you do not want to, uh, well, at least for me, I don't know, maybe you guys can, but I can't. You can't drag and drop these into open from the zip file. It will not work. So you will have to create a folder on the desktop, and I named mine Test Vehicle. You could name yours, you know, whatever you want to name it. You want to drag these two files, Police WFT and Police WTD. Go ahead and drag and drop those into your Test Vehicle folder. All right, now let's install the Dodge Dart. Go ahead and pull up open. Make sure you click on edit mode, the green and blue shield. Because if you don't, then you're wasting your time. Alright, then click on models, CD images, vehicles.img, and there is all the vehicles in Grand Theft Auto 4. So let's go ahead and install this bad boy. Alright, go ahead and go to your folder where you put those two files, and here they are. You want to select both of them, and drag and drop them if you want them in the police slot. I will explain that in just a moment what I mean by that. Alright, so let's go ahead and click on police.wft, which is the image file, and let's see, make sure it worked. And it did. So there's the car we just downloaded, or installed, I mean, and it looks like it's pretty good to go. Doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it, so we will X out of that. Now, in LCPDFR, your main police vehicles that you see on the road, or your other AI units is what I call them, are going to be Police and Police 2. So right now, if I went into LCPDFR, the other police cars I would see on the road would be this Dodge Dart. And I don't even know what the hell I've got in Police 2. Let's see. And we would have this Dodge Charger. These are the two vehicles that you would be seeing on the road if I went and played LCPDFR. Now, whatever vehicle model you decide to download, it may be named... FBI.WFT, it could be named News.WFT. If it is, don't worry about it. If you download a car that's an FBI, but you want it to be your main police vehicle, you can make it a police file. For the longest time, I was always under the assumption that if it was named FBI, I would have to drag and drop it and just deal with it. I couldn't play with it. Or I couldn't have it as my main police vehicle. 
I was wrong. So uh, I will show you how to change that today. So let's say, for instance, if you want to change your FBI slot to this police vehicle that we just downloaded, go into or select the file you want, hit replace current file, police, do the same thing for the WTD. Now, like I said, you could do this for the police file too if it's named FBI. I'm just doing it backwards today. Now, if I double click on the image file or the WFT, there's the Dodge Dart. So you can install it in different uh, police files. It doesn't have to be in police and police too. And a news doesn't have to go into news and so on and so forth. Hope I'm not losing you. Probably am, but um, if I am, I do apologize. Okay, guys. That is how you install a vehicle. It's pretty simple. Uh, once you get the hang of it, it's not too bad. Um, so let me go ahead and change police too to that Dodge Dart as well. That way all of my police cars in the city are the exact same vehicle. There we go. All right. Now, let's change the skin on this. Now, of course, as I said before, code 103, uh, you know, as he put the link in. So, um, download the pack that you want. And like I said, I, I highly recommend choosing these texture artists who put the links to the uh, vehicles. Because, like I said, if not, you're going to have to find, uh, you know, a texture that matches up with the model. And it's it's hell. Okay. So we went ahead and downloaded the skin pack. Um, once again, it's going to be in a zip file. You cannot, you need to put it to your, you can't install it from here. You have to put it in that folder. Uh, skins and Dart. So I'll pick that and we'll move it to the test folder. There we go. All right, now let's change this bad boy. If you want to change a skin, you have to go into the WTD file. So let's do that, police.wtd. And you should see something that says CVPI sign. Um, police sign, I, there's all kinds of shit they name it. Thank Robert named this one, yes, CRVN sign. Now, there's only one file in this car. Most cars will have four. You'll see sign one, sign two, sign three, and sign four. So, this one only has one, but let's replace it. So, replace with the Dodge Dart one, and there we go. If you noticed, the template is the exact same. The license plate's in the same spot. Both of these were in the exact same spot. That's how you could tell if a skin's going to fit. Now, if you download a Crown Vic model, do not automatically assume that every Crown Vic skin under God's bright-ass sun is going to fit that Crown Vic because I found out the hard way that is not the case. There are a lot of different Crown Vic models. There's a lot of different Charger models. You name it. So, you have to look at this WTD file before you download a skin. Or actually, I'm sorry, you download the skin, then you have to make sure it fits. That is exactly why I tell you to use these artists who include a link to the model. Um, of course, if you find a model you really like, um, you know, that's not included in a skin pack, then you just kind of have to do some research. I know this is confusing. I'm, I'm starting to confuse myself, but... Um, if you're not used to modeling, I would highly suggest sticking to just vehicle models with a skin that you like um, for the time being. Alright, so anyway, we've changed the skin on this Dodge Dart, so now it should look like this Liberty City Police skin that Code 103 made. So let's save it, and let's go look at it. There we go. It is now that vehicle, or that, that skin, not vehicle. It's the same damn vehicle. Alright. So we made that work. Now let's go do it for the second one. Once again, go into police.wtd. Alright, let, let me show you physically what I was talking about here. Um, uh, I hate HP Photo Viewer. You suck. It's the only way I can use, though. Alright, so while that loads, this is the template you make sure you want to make sure that your skin matches. So, for instance, if Code made this without putting the link in, and the license plate was down here, guess what? It's not going to fit. So, if you look at both of these, you can tell, you can just kind of eyeball it and tell that they are going to completely match. The license, pl the license plate is the main point that I always pay attention to. So, as long as the license plates are in the same spot, usually the skin will fit. Um, of course, you can tell that these both are made for the same way and all that. might look a little bit different, but um, they'll fit. Alright, so that is how you tell if a skin fits. Again, it's confusing as shit, and sometimes it's just like, it's mind-numbing, so... Save yourself a lot of trouble and use these texture artists who include the link of a model. Alright, and open. Save. Alright, guys. That is how you skin a vehicle, and that's how you download a vehicle model. 
Let's go ahead and check pulleys too. Make sure that worked. And it did. We are done. All right, guys. Once again, I don't sound like a broken record, but um, this can be a little confusing at first. Don't give up on it. Uh, it took me. It actually took me a long time to figure out how to do this stuff. Um, you know, I, I'm trying my best to show you guys, but I've done it for so long now that it's just kind of second nature to me, and uh, I'm just not that good of a teacher. So. Alright guys, so uh, once you're done with it, of course, you can X out and then go into LCPDFR and spawn those bad boys, and hopefully they work. <laughs> they should work unless the model is messed up somehow, but anyways, hope this helped. Maybe if it didn't help you all the way, at least hopefully it helped you a little bit. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I will do what I can, but again, as I've told you guys a thousand times, I, if, if you run into a problem that I have never experienced, I am useless because... I've never really had a huge problem with modeling or, or installing a model and a texture in LCPDFR. So if you run into some weird-ass problem, I may not be able to help you. So just kind of giving you a warning on that. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Hope it helped. We'll see you next time.